If you hear a person saying that Ibn Baz was in the pockets of the rulers and so and so was in the pockets of the rulers or he was a paid worker of the rulers then this has never come except from a person when you scratch bit underneath his scab upon his heart you will find that he's a takfiri making inkar of the hukam speaking ill of the Muslim rulers and he has the fikr of the khawarij and it is the khawarij who say this about our scholars and about the ulama and no one except a person of bid'ah and dalala will criticize the rulers and the, the, criticize the scholars with regard to this and as for the person who criticizes the rulers and the hukam and they speak ill of them and they and they just speaking against them they know that they are the worst of the khawarij as ibn hajr has mentioned that the worst of the khawarij are the qadiyya those who themselves do not go out those who themselves do not go out and fight and make in, uh, make rebellion against the Muslim rulers with the sword but rather they encourage others to do so so when you hear a person doing this then know that he's a ruwaybid from the ruwaybida a person who is despicable dishonored you should leave him and keep away from him for verily the one who speaks against Ibn Baz and the likes of these know that they have nifaq with them the nifaq of the actions and the nifaq of the tongue that they have with regard to the Muslim scholars and the scholars of the ummah for verily in these times you will not find anyone the likes of Ibn Baz or the likes of Al-Albani or the likes of Ibn Thaymeen Hafidhahumullah Ta'ala You will not find the likes of these kind of scholars So the one who speaks against him has a disease in his heart He is corrupted, he has a sickness And his sickness is either that he is cured by ilm and sincerity because he is insincere And he is ignorant So he has to cure his insincerity by becoming mukhlis and he has to uh, cure his ignorance by learning the knowledge of these ulama because these ulama are ulama who preserve the sunnah and salafia of our times and if these are the ulama you ask them who are the ulama and you will find that they will quote the likes of the juhal like umar abdul rahman al masri or abu qatada or the likes of even some of them wanted one of one of these juhal one jahil that i was speaking to in england he said Usama bin Laden is from the Kibar Ulama. <laughs> this Kharji Khabib, he said that he is from the Kibar Ul Ulama. He's from the major scholars. This is what you find from them. Or they will say that Safar and Salman, as and the, what's befitting for Safar and Salman is what, what the noble scholar Abdul Muslim al Abad uh, Hafidullah said about them that they are nothing but Shabab who are Juhal. They are youth who are ignorant. And this is who they are. And the greatest scholars warned against them and spoke against them. And this is how we treat those people who speak ill about the Muslim. And when they speak ill about the Muslim, uh, when they say about the scholars that they are in the pockets of the rulers, then know that this will come only from a rabid Kharji Qutubi who has nothing but hatred in his heart for the Muslim rulers.